Hey, hey there guys, we are on the campus of Cal Poly San Luis Obispo. It was here back in 1996 that Kristen Smart disappeared. She was a 19 year old freshman. For years, people suspected Paul Flores. Today, he was arrested. Here is a picture of him being arrested. He was actually arrested down in Southern California in San Pedro. At the time of the disappearance, he was also a student here and the last known person to see Kristen Smart. Arrested along with him up here in the San Luis Obispo area, not far from here, was his father, Ruben Flores, who is now 80 years old. He was arrested as an accessory. Paul was arrested for the murder. The sheriff had a news conference here announcing the arrest just a little while ago. He says at this point, a body has has not been found, but they have established enough evidence to make them believe that Paul Flores is responsible. He says they have physical evidence linking him to the crime, and he also says they have been monitoring. They got a search warrant to monitor his phone call and texts, and when asked if that yielded any valuable information, he said yes, it did yield some valuable information, described it as being pieces of the puzzle that helped put the case together. He did say he also spoke to Kristen Smart's parents this morning after the arrest. I have spoken to the Smart family uh, numerous times, including, uh, including this morning, um, matter of fact, twice today. Um, I think they're feeling um, a bit of relief, uh, but as you can imagine, um, until we return Kristen to them, um, this is not over, and we have committed to them that we are not going to stop until Kristen has been recovered, no matter what the cost, no matter what the time, we're committed to that. Now, today, Wendy Birch actually spoke to Paul Flores' mother. She'll have more on that coming up at 3.30. But the big news, an arrest in this long-standing case that investigators say they have been working on for years. For now, reporting live in San Luis Obispo, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News.